saying welcome back to my channel mtn possibilities thank you so much for coming back to the channel if you are new here please consider subscribing in this channel we talk about what's happening in Bulawayo. we talk to the people who have made it in life here in Bulawayo. and in this episode i'm talking to one woman who actually has made it in life and at 70 she looks so healthy and young and she has managed to build her own hospital single-handedly. And she has been sharing this story in a book that she called A Bag of Nerves to Success. In this, in this video, I get to spend a day with her. How she starts her day. And on this particular day, she's starting a day with a game of squash. And we are going there. We are currently driving to, uh, along Lepo Takawira Avenue. A lot of us will call it Uchopek Road or Gwanda Road or the South African Highway Road. So we are passing by Centenary Park and uh, on our way to the Squash Club. The Squash Club is uh, the only one in Bulawayo so far and it is found in the Sebabs area. So I will take you along on the drive. My name is Tengton Gwizima, I'm Bester's coach and Bester is playing Dr. Tatenda. So what they are doing is one player plays a ball, the other player is 
another ball after one bounce. So we play up to 11. So the one who gets 11 points first will be the winner. So now they're having a long run. So we're playing both forehand and backhand as well. After every shot, you have to go to the tee so that you are closer to the, to the corners of the courts. Okay, play starts. Render saving. There you go. Nice routine. Nice one. Ball is going. Oh, she is out again. So she lose the other point. Point goes to the next person. The next point again. Okay, the forehand is good. Render playing backhand. Nice shots. Tired, good run, good run. Oh, unlucky. So get it. Face goes on. Nice return. Oh, good play. Oh, a boss. What a boss. Oh, she got the point. And I oh, missed it. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Nice ball. Good back end. Good run, good run. I got it. Oh, <laughs> direct edge. Yeah, cool to return it there. Ball was too quick. So, why is squash push? Why is squash? Squash is easy because you don't have any weather condition. You can play any any time. You're not disturbed by the weather, and you only need one more player to play the game. And it's short. You can do your 30 minutes, and you're done for the whole day. It's good for your health, for your heart, and for your thinking. You learn to think quick. Oh, I've been playing for more than 20 years. And coaching as well. Though I started a bit late, I started at 28 to learn how to play squash. Yes, that's a good advantage of squash. Any age you can play, and you always get someone of your level every time. Oh, the difference between squash and tennis is that in tennis you play outside the outside open ground and you have a net instead of that center line where you play above the line. In tennis, your 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 swing is vertical. No, your swing on horizontal, and in tennis, they have to be a vertical swing. And the scoring system is a bit different. No, the point system, yeah, the point system, but the actual play is all the same. 15, uh, squash is 1, 2, 3, up to 11. In tennis, it's 15, 30, 45, juice, yeah. Oh, uh, sport, squash is not very popular, it's for um, the minority. Uh, yeah. Uh, because there are few courts. It's like in the city suburbs, there are no courts. So they are falling the. Yeah. Uh, maybe you put less than 10. Yeah. Sorry? Oh, uh, one and a half years. Close to two years now. Yeah. Oh, she's improving so much, and you can see she's active. She's still running very well, and she's enjoying her squash. So every man, every Tuesday, she's here same time, half seven, on the court. At her age, she's the best in Zimbabwe. No one at this age is playing squash. She's the best so far. Yeah. So that's very good. It's impressive to see her running like this. Very few people, even the 40 guys, cannot run like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Now yeah. I'm scared. I want to try it out. Yes, you have to be fit to play this game. Yeah. Okay. Now. Yeah, the practice that thing you can practice yourself by yourself. You can do a workout, then you go. Yeah. That's the advantage of squash. Yeah, now they are having a water break. So the water break is normally 15 minutes, um, 90 seconds. I took the opportunities I spent the week with here to learn and to tap into the knowledge so that at least we could also try to imitate what she does. And she has, show, she has been sharing a lot of what she does actually in the workshops that she, she, she usually runs and in the book that she wrote to actually help a lot of people to get to understand what it takes for her or for anyone to actually change their life. And like we say in our channel, anything is possible. So if you want it and you want to achieve it, you can just put your heart to it and do the necessary steps to help you to get to what you want. And she has been sharing a lot on how she managed to get to where she wanted to be the woman she wants to be. So as I was trying to imitate the morning routine of Besta Chamboko, I couldn't resist trying it. Unfortunately, the coach, the usual coach, was not so fit on that particular day. She said he said that he had just picked up an injury in an earlier game, so he couldn't really teach me much. And thank you, thanks a lot to Dr. Tatenda Simango, who ended up being my coach for the day. Dr. Tatenda Simango from 9th Avenue Stagery is the one who is now teaching me how to hold the ball, the hold the racket. He taught me how to hold it and hit the, 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 the ball and every little thing that I had to learn about squash. So that was my first hit. Felt dismally. But I wasn't going to give up. I'm not going to give up on that. I'll try again. And so he's saving the ball again told me to wait for the bounce and then hit the ball so that's the game he hits the wall i wait for the bounce i hit the ball i think i'm getting the hammer ah no not really but i was almost there so he then explained to me that the aim was to make sure that I always make the ball go above the red line. So that's the aim of the game, right? So I think now I've got it. Yeah. Oh, I'm proud of myself after just a few lessons. There I am. Trying to imitate. <laughs> Today I had my first squash game as we spent the week with our, with our best Chamboko and this was my coach who taught me how to hold the racket and to, to, to hit the ball. Coach, may you please introduce yourself? My name, my name is Linton Kuzima. I'm the squash coach at Sub of Squash Club in the team with Esther. Okay, so what, what does it take to, for me to become a coach, a squash coach? Oh, it's the passion and the interesting thing uh -huh. in this philosophy game you play. Yeah. What can you say about the game? I saw it does, it, it involves a lot of running. Why would you encourage someone to take up squash in the game? Uh, it's good for your health. Um, it gives you mental strength. Discipline is you keep time every time. And it takes for it helps your eyes to be something more. Yeah. Here you are the only coach in Hawaii. Yes, I'm the only coach in the suburbs and a coach. 
all these private schools in Bulawayo, you know, Falcon, this Kodim, I go there every Wednesday. Okay. And Monday, Tuesday, I'll be at GC Girls College. Okay. What are the qualifications of you? Uh, you have to be good in kids and you have qualified to be a coach. Alright, yeah. that's interesting. And I hear your children also are part of this, it runs in the blood, right? Yes, it does. Uh, my, ch my children are all squash players. The oldest is Ryan. Uh, in 2018, he was the junior sportsman of Zimbabwe. Okay. And in 2008 again, he went to Europe. He played in the Manchester Open and he won it. And he played in the Hungary Open, he won it. And Pornographs and he won it. And my daughter also, she's also a champion. She's number, number one under 18s, under 16s, and under 19 games. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you so much, Coach. I think you've got so much to tell us. We have another interview where we can talk to you. Today we're here about Pesta. And what can you say about Pesta? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. With that age, she is very good. She runs and she's determined. She's a good example of the best players I've ever seen. And come through, Pesta. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are you, Pesta. <laughs> Yeah, the best pesta. <laughs> oh, that's the best pesta. <laughs> well, that comes with the training. Yes, yeah. Watch the coach. Yes. Yes. Oh, the training our, yeah. our, our our pesta. So, what's your secret to keeping fit at 70? I saw you running by the court there, and I'm thinking, I can't even do that. I tried. You saw me trying a few hits, but then. Before I knew it, I was gone. What uh, is your secret? Uh, it? it's, it's a number of things. Um, in a sense, we can say that you are what you eat. Um, so that's very important because, um, uh, for example, for myself, um, all morning I stick with fruit only, mostly fruit and a few selected veggies. Okay. I don't touch any starch before mm -hmm. lunchtime. Right. <laughs> That's interesting. And you were saying it's that a, this is called a... It's, this is part, a of, it's uh -huh. part of what is called fit for life way of eating. Okay. Um, so I have adopted that over many, many years now. Okay. And uh, I enjoy fruit. I'm comfortable with it because fruit is like a, a, like a broom inside of us. Okay. It's good for cleansing, uh, it supports a detox. Research tells us from night time to morning time our bodies are going through natural self-cleansing detoxification. Oh, okay. Fruit supports that. And then at, yet at the same time I'm getting my minerals and vitamins in their natural form, okay. not from any bottle. All right, mm -hmm. wow, that's interesting. And then the other thing is the, the exercise. That's why I'm here on a regular basis. I used to come here twice a week, but now I have settled to once a week because I, I am extremely busy. Right. Uh, but I make a point that every Tuesday I'm here. Exercise is good. Okay. Uh, and squash is particularly if there's the running and also the way you hit it, the like yeah. physical, good for the heart and also for the eyes. Okay. Because mm. you have to focus on the uh, uh, Because, I mean, I used to wear glasses. I wore some glasses for 41 years, but with oh, exercise really? and so forth, mm -hmm. I've actually got rid of glasses. Wow, that's through, interesting. Through diet, exercise and how you are. And the other thing is also, um, you know, people even locally, you'd see people complain of hey, the economy and so forth. Mm -hmm. I try to live, I do live a stress-free life. Yeah, because the stress, stress um, ruins, dampens our immune system. Mm -hmm. That department in our bodies, that is meant to keep us healthy. Mm -hmm. So we look after our immune systems, we can be, we can be healthy, we can run. Oh, wow, <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. It's 70, you can still can run like... I think even those who are 40 are envious of you now. <laughs> Where are we going now? Because yeah, you see you are all dressed up. Uh, I'm going to work now. Okay, now we're going to work. Uh. Okay. Keep fit. Um, uh, 
there are a few of us, okay. my, my, my staff, to try and get it, to put it to shape it up. 7.30 a.m. Oh. We'll do it for 30 minutes, 7.30 to, to 8 o'clock. Oh. And right. we are going to, um, we want, we have said we'll name and shame. We are going to, um, to do measurements. My weights, All right. abdominal circumference, oh. then uh, we'll do the measurements on a monthly basis. Okay. So this is the start of that, of what we are doing. All right. Okay. So it's a time when most people are actually going to the UK, Sister Chamoko, you decided to leave and uh, now you are staying in Zimbabwe. Why did you decide to do that? Um, I think for me really it's uh, perhaps a yeah, number of things. Um, or I was already set up uh, before I went to UK because the, um, I had opened, it was a clinic then, I had opened the clinic in 1985. So when I went to UK, I had specific aims. I was actually going to uh, raise funds for my for the construction of my hospital. Okay. Uh -huh. um, so I was um, I, I had an aim. Mm -hmm. um, I know there are people in the UK. Even I, I do have some friends as well who may actually be wishing to to come back to Zimbabwe uh, because overseas. You find that things like um, uh, the weather and, um, you know, there's no place like home. There are things that can be um, depressing, to be honest. But uh, you find that some people will tell you, perhaps, coming to Zimbabwe, they may not have a starting point where they're going to start from. But for me, then, that was not a problem because I had started something here. Um, and um, having worked here for so many years and worked in the United Kingdom for so many years, even before going back, uh, I, I knew the, the difference. And um, what I would say to um, uh, some of our colleagues who are still in the United Kingdom or uh, anywhere else in the diaspora, as we call it, um, they should really maintain their, their aim, their reasons for going overseas. Many of us have done the cleaner pastures, perhaps to make a bit more money for whatever projects. Because then uh, what I would say is that they should try and remain focused rather than being, um, uh, you know, trying to just change their thinking because uh, things seem easier elsewhere. Uh, as I say, there is no place like home. Home is home. So for me, I was, uh, I managed to, I stayed with my, focused with my intentions and um, I achieved what I wanted and I'm comfortable. Now I'm at a point where I can actually, I can go overseas for holidays and yet my base is here. The weather is brilliant. There's no weather that beats ours in Africa. Generally, a lot of people are stuck in their lives and they'll be wondering, how can I change my life? How can we tap into the 70-year-old wisdom? Um, in brief, I've put everything in my book, uh, Bag of Nerves to Success. I believe that uh, anybody reading that book will find something that they can um, relate to and it's uh, meant to be inspirational. That's my way of helping people en masse, as it were. Um, because um, I, as I say, my life has been surprising. And in the book, I'm also encouraging people to change whatever limits them from being the best of themselves. And uh, if there are people that have gone abroad, um, I share in there um, how people can help themselves just to achieve the best of who they can be. Now we have arrived at work at the hospital we knew she built herself. Thank you so much for watching the video and uh, I will do a full video tour of the hospital at some other time but right now I will just show you bits and pieces and you can see more in the next video. I had so much fun, I learned a lot on this day and I hope you did get some nuggets too that you can apply in your life because really at 70 she has so much to share and uh, it would be good to actually have a, a read of the book. If you can manage to get hold of the book, A Bag of Names to Success, in which she actually says uh, a lot about your lifestyle, you actually learn more. So thank you so much for watching the video, see you in the next one.